Hey guys, what's going on? Troy at Mountain Man Treasure here, and it's been a decent couple days of sales. Let's take a look. Mountain Man. Mountain Man. Treasures. Welcome into the channel, guys. My name is Troy. I'm a reseller in Montana. I go to garage sales. I go to estate sales. I go to thrift stores. Sometimes I go to the Walmart clearance aisle. It doesn't matter. I buy stuff, and then I sell it again online, and ideally make a profit. And if you watched Mondays, what sold video you would have seen that we had a crazy weekend highlighted by a $750 sale. Really, really good item. The next couple of days, they've been all right. You know, they've been the normal eBay days. Uh, we, we've had some higher dollar stuff. We've had the real low dollar stuff. And we're going to talk about real low dollar stuff here in a little bit. Uh, I got more questions here in the last little bit of why do you even bother? Why do you do that? We're going to talk about that. We've done it before, but it, it's good to come back around to it. So we're going to talk about that. But first, let's take a look over at the counter with the last couple of days of sales. Solid pile numbers wise, mostly pretty small dollar sales in there. Kind of a up and down after the weekend, but I am totally good with that. eBay is a roller coaster. It'll balance out. Here we've got Dale Earnhardt Jr. You can see right here the uh, certificate that the local autograph place signed. That's a Michigan win. He's doing the burnout there. Pretty cool photo. And we sold that for $9.98. We sold these guys on an offer that I accepted. Uh, we've got the Doctor Who pins. We've got the Dalek and the TARDIS there and sold them as a set. They went for $13 plus shipping. We got this little guy, Thomas, of course. And this is, uh, well, I don't remember who this is. It doesn't matter. I took an offer on this little diecast guy of $4.50 plus shipping. This one is going international. Actually, this is a Pokemon figure and it is Gardevoir or something. I don't know. It's going out for $29.60. Great British pounds. We've got one going out to a viewer. Our second Weatherby Firearms and Ammunition Hat. Cool corduroy on the front. This going to Caesar. He sent me an offer of $13 plus shipping. He's purchased so much stuff from us in the past. I sure appreciate you, man. Thank you very much for a viewer. That's certainly a good offer. Then we've got Iron Butterfly. And it got a DaVita. Really cool, classic album. Not a real high dollar album, but still solid sell. $9.98 plus shipping. Here we've got another viewer sale going out to our good friend, Allie, who said, I can use another set of fangs. Who can't use another set of vampire fangs? These from Spirit Halloween. I sent out an offer on this one, and it was Allie that got that and accepted it. $17.28 plus shipping for those guys. We've got Harry Potter years five through seven on the Wii. Lego Harry Potter, that is. And he sold for $7.99 plus shipping. Another video game going out for the PlayStation 2. Greatest Hits Red Dead Revolver. This one sold for $8.99 plus shipping. Took an offer on this guy, Batman Begins, the Christmas ornament. Pretty cool. I like the look of this one. And I accepted $6 plus shipping for that. And the new and sealed DVD, The Ghost and the Darkness. Michael Douglas, Val Kilmer. I really like this movie. They've got that new one coming out that looks a little bit like a riff off of this movie. So I had a hunch that it would sell. Sure enough, it did. $4.99 plus shipping. And a nice batch to finish us up here. Some really quick sales and some really nice sales. And here this, a really quick sale. I think I listed this maybe two days ago. It's a Quilters Fabric Calc. A fabric calculator, I guess. Basically, it's like a TI-80 whatever for quilting. I don't know, but it's new and sealed. All you got to do is be able to scan a barcode. All right, pick this up at... Uh, sort of an estate garage sale. I guess it was an estate sale. Paid five bucks for it, which was, you know, more than I'd like to pay, of course, but I knew it would sell pretty quickly. And sure enough, we got out of this $25.34 plus shipping. These took a little bit longer to move. I thought they would move quicker. I did get them this summer, but uh, it took a few months. Very cool look and shoes. Nike Metcon 2, got the fly wire there. They're, uh, they're CrossFit 
shoes and eventually moved out. $38.67 plus shipping. We've got here another Disney plush head cover, vintage head cover. Got one more left. This, uh, I took an offer of $15 plus shipping. You might recall seeing in the last video, we bought a whole box of these. Well, box, I mean, there, there were five of them in the box for $7. So certainly well into the profit, accepted the offer on that. We've got a pair of Ariat jeans. These are pretty solid. I actually picked these up from a new viewer. Met, uh, met her and her boyfriend at a garage sale. And then a few weeks later, might not even have been a few weeks, might have been the next week, I'm not sure. Uh, she got a hold of me on Facebook Messenger and said, hey, I'm having a sale if you want to come on over. So there is the brand. We did go on over and picked up a few things, some jeans, some shorts. My mama actually kept a pair of the shorts or of the pants. I'm not sure. I think she kept a pair of the pants. And uh, these we sold $32.49 plus shipping. And shipping on this will be in a padded flat rate envelope. If you fold them up enough like a burrito, you can shove them in to those PFREs. We've got an autographed baseball here. This is Abraham Nunez. I had multiple autographed baseballs. And uh, this is the last of them. I had it listed for about $15. Uh, you know, it, it's not a super highly desirable autograph. So when I got the offer of 10, I did accept that. So there you go. Let's turn it right side up. So pretty cool. 10 bucks plus shipping for that. This is the first briar horse that I've been able to find and pick up out there. Got this here just very recently at a sale and paid a dollar for it and sold within a couple of weeks. It's actually going internationally. $15.99 plus international shipping to the UK for our little Appaloosa there. Cool looking horse. G.I. Joe Classic Collection. This came out in the 90s. I have, I think, three others like this, three or four. And the boxes are all beat up a little bit. Not all the same thing, but I have some in the Classic Collection, I guess. I don't have a bunch of infantry, but this is the Army Infantry, and you can see in there. He's still new and sealed and uh, in, in great shape. He's mint in box. It's just the box is not mint. But I did get this one out the door. $19.17 plus shipping. And then we sold another Dale Earnhardt car. This is Earnhardt Sr. And his IROC car back from 2001-2002. This one, $48.74 plus shipping. Pretty solid couple of days. I'm I'm happy with those sales. I hope your sales are doing okay as well. It's summer, but I think things are starting to pick up. We're starting to work towards the fall. School's starting in some places, getting ready to start in others. And so I think we're going to start seeing fourth quarter action here before too long, and things are going to warm up with sales rather than the weather. It was like 103 degrees here the other day. It was miserable. But we want to talk about small dollar stuff. Uh, I mentioned that in the front and I had some of it here, you know, the $4.50 little train car. There are a couple of reasons I do that. And I'll sort of walk you through my thinking, whether it's right or not it's for you to decide, but it's why I decide to do it. And I think uh, just the other night is a really good example. You know, we talked the other day about uh, the mountain dog and uh, about kind of his issue. We had to take him to the vet, that sort of thing. It made for a really long day. I didn't get to listing. Uh, you know, it got to be about uh, 9 or 10 o'clock at night. I hadn't listed anything at all. I wanted to do that. You know, you've got to, on eBay, you got to feed the beast. The eBay algorithm, as far as we understand it, um, likes to see that continuous activity. Uh, I don't believe that it cares what you're listing. You know, it doesn't care if you're listing a bunch of $100 items or a bunch of $10 items. I, I think it just likes to see that activity. That, that's that's my assumption. So I listed a handful of things that, you know, they're, they're solid, they're average sales, but I wanted to get that up into double digits, right? I, I wanted to have uh, 12, 13 listings. So I went and grabbed a handful of cassette tapes that I had recently picked up. 
I listed some of those, as I recall, at like $1.99, $2.99, plus shipping, but still, it's 2 and $3, right? Why bother? Well, one, as I just told you, is because I want to make that algorithm happy. So you have to list something, right? Well, those are really easy to list. You take a picture of the front, of the back. You take the tape out, take a picture of the front, of the back. You're done with pictures. You sell similar. You pick your price point and you upload four pictures and it's done. You, you can do cassette tapes very, very quickly. And very often with small items, that's the case. You know, the small dollar stuff, a lot of times I list it because it feeds the algorithm. Now, is it going to make me a dollar, two dollars, three dollars? Yeah. You know, that that's almost, in that instance, that's almost a bonus, right? Because really, I just wanted to get the numbers up. I want to get the activity going. I wanted to show eBay, look, I'm uploading things onto your platform for people to buy. Yeah, you only get a couple of bucks, but you fed that algorithm with stuff that was super fast. Now, when it sells, super fast to ship it out as well, right? I mean, you're talking less than a minute from front to end of, of packaging that thing. I've got a shelf where I have all my cassettes, so they're very easy to store. You know, so it, it checks boxes along the way of it's very simple, it's very fast, and it makes eBay happy. So at, at the base level, that's why I do it, right? And I also do it because those small sales add up. Video we had earlier this week where I picked up the bag of like micro machines, mostly Star Wars stuff. Now, some of that's listed at $2.99, $3.99, $4.99. Not great on the surface, right? But I got that entire bag. So I've got a $2.99, a $3.99, a $4.99, one, I think, $10 one in there, one $8 one in there. So you're not making a whole bunch at once. You're making a whole bunch once it's all added together. Cumulatively, that's going to be a really great pickup. So you have to look at long term. You're not making it all at once. You're making it spread out over time. But again, very simple to photograph and list and again, to ship. So that's another reason. It adds up. But you know what? Another reason that I list it is because people, a lot of times on eBay, they're buying memories, you know, especially with the stuff that I sell. I sell a lot of vintage stuff. And very often people get on there looking to buy back a little piece of their history. They buy back uh, some, some memories, some happy memories. And I had actually a, uh, a feedback that came in here just a little bit ago that highlighted that. Look at this. This is a little whistle that came from Dairy Queen. Not a big thing, right? It sold for $4.99 plus shipping. There's a lot of people that say, I wouldn't even touch it, right? I do. And I explained some of the reasons why, but look at the feedback that I got for this item right here. This is another reason why I do that. Because like I said, people are buying back little bits of their history. And so, yeah, it was only a small little thing. But it made a huge impact in this person's life, as silly as that sounds to us, because we don't have that memory. That's not something that matters to us, right? But for them, this little whistle brings back memories of their parents, of their grandparents, of times at the restaurant when they were taken out for ice cream. This is now sitting, I don't know, on, on a shelf, on a desk, on a somewhere. They see that those memories come flooding back. They feel good and they feel happy. That's neat to be able to do that for people. You know, I mean, yeah, we're in this to make money and I'm not, this isn't a charity operation, right? I have to make money. But if you can make that sort of impact on somebody's life by listing a silly $4.99 whistle, that's pretty cool, right? I mean, I, I think it is. Again, maybe you don't. Maybe that's not something that matters to you, but it matters to me. And that's another reason why I list that little stuff. I hope that explains why I do what I do. And when I grabbed all of those cassettes, I did grab one that I thought, you know what? It's not even honestly uh, that great a cassette. Let's give it away to somebody. Maybe we can bring back memories for somebody that this means something to. Um, <laughs> this is kind of silly. As far as resale value, if you want to get this thing because you're thinking, oh, I'll resell that, don't bother. It's, it's not worth it. It, 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 this is me saying it's not worth it, okay? The sell-through on this is not there, so it's it's not going to matter. We got here Joey Lawrence, okay? I didn't even realize that he had an album, to be honest with you. I I, I had no idea. 
This is his self-titled album. I don't know if he ever made another one. Now there's a crack across the back, but it's fine. But the, the cassette itself, super, super clean. And I uh, popped it in, listened to a little bit of it, and it is straight up early to mid-90s. Like, it, it, it's what it sounds like. This is, came out in 1993. So the first person in the comments down below to uh, give me the one-word Joey Lawrence catchphrase. Is it a phrase if it's one word? I don't know, the catchword of Joey Lawrence. You got to know it. If this means something to you, if you want Joey Lawrence cassette tape, put it in the comments and uh, the first person to give me that catch word is going to win this. I'll ship it to you. No charge. So I thought that'd be kind of fun. Uh, one thing that we haven't done in a little bit is look at the cool thing I found. We're going to get back to that. Uh, I have several of you that have sent me things, so I'm going to grab maybe a couple that we'll do on the next video. And before we wrap it up again, uh, coming up today, 8 p.m. Eastern, that's six o'clock my time, we're going to be running another whatnot auction. You can follow me on whatnot. It's MTN underscore M-A-N. That information is down in the description if you didn't catch it there. Uh, 8 p.m. Eastern, we're going to do another Funko Pop auction. We've got, I think it's 20 that I've got loaded in there. And so that'll take us about 40 minutes. It's going to be a quick in and out. And I think this is going to be our time going forward is Wednesday nights, 8 p.m. Uh, next week, I haven't fully decided yet uh, exactly what we're going to be doing. I think I'm going to try some Batman comics. So if you're into Batman, we're going to make a Batman-themed comic auction, I think, next Wednesday. So if you want to come on by, it's a lot of fun. I appreciate everybody that's been coming by and supporting me, supporting the channel through the Whatnot Auction, and uh, I hope you enjoy the pops. I, I think they're really cool. So that's what I've got for you today, guys. I got to get ready for that auction and get stuff packed up, but if we don't see you there, we'll see you here next time. <music>